By the end of the year 2030, artificial intelligence will be created that will surpass humans, and this will cause very rapid scientific progress, says forecaster Ray Kurzweil, who's also the CTO of Google. According to him, when it comes to inserting chips into people, we'll be able to do really crazy things. For example, if any disease is detected, the chip will give us an alert and we can deal with any COVID at an early stage. We won't need to study in schools and universities because we'll be able to learn anything in an instant thanks to the fast operation of a chip that will find information and deliver it into our brain in less than a second. Everything that you'll learn about in this video is based on Kurzweil's predictions. This man is a genius in the field of scientific prediction. He made 115 completely correct predictions out of 147, and the accuracy of his predictions is 86%. So, according to Ray, immediately after people start having chips implanted in their heads, they'll have endless opportunities thanks to their new cyber body. The neural network will create individual organs and body parts that will be better than human ones. Thus, our lifespans will increase. Thanks to the chip, we can modify our bodies and design them however we want. Remember the movie The Matrix? We can create such worlds simply by lying on the couch in our living room and playing the chosen one or God with our friends. Perhaps we'll even get the opportunity to travel through other people's dreams, like in the movie Inception, while our body is in the real world under a warm blanket and robots will continuously do the work for us. Humanity will reach a 0% rate of crime because any thief can be identified by finding his chip and the police will not even have to use weapons to neutralize them because this can be done at a distance of millions of kilometers. By giving the chip a command to send a charge of electricity into the criminal's body, the police can paralyze them and then, without shooting or casualties, place them under arrest. With such fast development in the field of science, in the first five years after the creation of the neural network, people will be able to colonize other planets and convert them into living zones. In addition, humanity will achieve an ideal balance in the allocation of resources. The neural network will calculate the amount of food, electricity, water, and everything else needed per person, and will live in maximum prosperity. The concept of poverty will remain only a memory from our past. Sounds like the ideal of communism. Speaking of politics, international relations will become much easier. The neural network will bring the leaders of countries to the most convenient terms of negotiations, and there will be no more conflicts between states. And if the countries unite their territories, then we will begin to live in one country according to a common set of laws. But every silver lining has a cloud. Of course, a big downside to chips in our brains is advertising. Corporations will spend their resources to get their product promoted in our heads. Advertising will be customized for each individual, depending on where they live, their preferences and interests. In moments when we become more receptive to advertising, the chip will emit special impulses to certain areas of the brain and show us the advertisement. But that's not all. The chip will become one with you. In turn, your past will also become the property of the main server. What did you get sick from the last time? What kind of sex you like? Why you vote for a certain candidate? And that awkward and shameful memory from your childhood? All will not remain a secret. Life will cease to be intimate, because any information will be recorded on the server where the creator of the chip can use it. And it's also possible that the chip will be hacked and fraudulent hackers will access all information about a person and their actions, which will lead to an incredible amount of blackmail. But the downsides don't end there. Work will become the privilege of the elite. 
To take a place in any enterprise, you'll need to endure heavy competition because most of the work will be done by robots and vacancies will attract a huge number of people. In addition, it'll be much easier to lose your job because the chips in their system are very quickly updated and new versions will come out as quickly as new iPhones. No matter how well you do your job, the advantage will remain with your competitors who receive new versions of the chip. If they attempt to chip all of humanity, then there will be those who will oppose it. The world will split into two factions, those who support chipping and those who resist. Imagine racism, but it will be about whether you have a chip in your head. The concepts of chipophobe, chipophile, and other positive or negative terms on this topic will appear. It was announced at a recent conference by Elon Musk that a chip developed by his company Neuralink was successfully implanted into a pig's brain without harm to its health. According to Musk, this development will help people suffering from disorders of the brain or spinal cord. In the future, this chip will be improved and its capabilities will expand. But so far, it doesn't even have half of the functions of the final version of the chip predicted by Ray Kurzweil. But in addition to Neuralink, there are other developments. For example, BrainGate, the so-called brain implant from CyberKinetics. It's a chip-like mechanism that can help control limbs or other body functions. Thus, people who have problems with mobility will finally be able to move freely. Going even further, the company Nielsen has patented a method that uses brain impulses to find out what a person thinks about a product or advertisement, and thus investigate consumer behavior. Microsoft already has a patent for a technology that can measure a user's readiness to receive ads. And in the future, the new silicon chips developed in collaboration with the National Research Council, or NRC, of Canada will help us to understand how brain cells work under normal conditions, which in turn will give us an understanding of the causes of mental illness and human taste preferences. Nobody understands what these developments will lead to. I still have no idea if I want to implant a chip in my brain when it becomes as common as smartphones. I think if Elon Musk were the first to implant his invention into his head, it would be the best advertisement for his product. What do you think about that? Write your opinion in the comments. But before that, I suggest you realize the following thing. According to Elon Musk, people have already become cyborgs. We move in machine systems, communicate via mobile devices, and every year more and more actions are made for us by ready-made devices. The development of neurochips and biological nanorobots will just help us to get all mechanisms at hand. You no longer need a separate computer, your brain will become a computer itself. A cool exoskeleton will replace the need to buy new sneakers every year. If you think this is an unscientific fantasy, click on the next video, and in 10 minutes it will become clear to you exactly how Elon Musk plans to combine the brain and computer. In the meantime, I'll go for a walk with my outdated, ordinary human legs and think over the idea for the next video.